Hi, welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Capricorns. How are you, my loves? Welcome back. Welcome to your love reading for the month of October. We're going to check in first with your higher self, Capricorns, to see what messages Spirit and your higher self has to say in regards to this connection, in regards to you, okay, through the moonology and the moon phases here. And then we're going to pull the raw tarot deck that was created by me, okay, and we're going to see what messages this person, however, that's around you, that you are exchanging your energies with, okay, in regards to the connection. And I heard Scorpio. Some of y'all, this person may be a Scorpio or have Scorpio placements in their chart, okay? Now, however, I was going to state as well that we will finish up with a tarot deck to get further clarification for you, Capricorn, in regards to this connection, you, your higher self, and this person, okay? All right, so thank you, source, angels, ancestors. Protect my space aura as I channel the messages here for Capricorn and close the portal as I finish and channel out. Thank you, source, angels. What messages do we have for my sexy ass Cappies, my Capricorns, my kings and queens, my god and goddesses? What messages do we have for the Capricorn spirit? I shake. What messages? Whoa. Let's go ahead and pull them. What we have, my loves. A time to give rather than take, my love. New moon in Virgo. I encourage you to go Google or look up the new moon in Virgo as well, Capricorns, and see what messages your higher self or spirit has for you as well, okay? But definitely this is in reference to a time to give rather than a time to take. We have the color green here. Working on your heart space, your heart chakra, okay? So definitely bring in this perspective or in regards to this connection or this relationship. Using your heart space, coming from a place of love, okay? A place of genuine love. Being honest, loving and caring in this situation, I feel, Okay? Is what yourself and your higher self is asking you to do as well as spirit. All right, Capricorns. And also, show the world the real you. What are you afraid of, Capricorn? What are you afraid of? What is holding you back, my loves? Okay. Full moon in Aquarius. Definitely review all about Aquarius energy. All about that element and see how it is used. Because typically, this is all just saying, Capricorn. <coughs> Ooh. All of a sudden, my throat. <clears throat> Some of y'all need to work on your throat chakra, okay? Wear the color blue, okay? Um, get this off your chest, okay? Whatever this is that you're feeling, uh, excuse me, whatever this is that you are feeling about or feeling of, okay? You need to speak it out, get it off your chest, okay? It's having or affecting my throat chakra, okay? And I'm just, or was, perfectly fine, right? Okay? So show the world the real you, meaning speak up for yourself, or speak up to these people, individuals, or whatever this is that you are maybe on a platform yourself, or you may are in a group or organization where people view you, okay? So you're wanting to use that air element as in that Aquarius energy. We know the Aquarius energy runs all off of groups and organizations and being able to be in front of people and speak, okay? So whatever type of talent, gift, okay, that you have, my love, don't be afraid to show the world the real you and do it. Because if you don't do it, who else is going to do it like you do it? You were put on this earth to particularly perform, I'm hearing, or do whatever this is that you're needing to do. It was meant for only you to do it. So if only you don't do it, then who the fuck else? I want to say Aquarius as well. So yes, you definitely need to step into your Aquarius energy or you, my love, have Aquarius air element in your chart, Capricorns, or you need to get it up in there in order to perform again or do whatever this is, okay? Rather, this is in regards to performing, literally. Some of y'all may be a performance. You may do some type of artist work, or you may be a singer, writer. I don't know your life. I'm not the fly on the wild, okay? But this is what I'm feeling intuitively and what I'm being channeled out, Okay? Or even if this is in regards to 
what it is that you are doing in your career, working with your gift, again, your dream, all right? And also, if this is in regards to, of course, what the channel here is all about, love, a relationship, a connection, okay, a partnership, whatever this is, be yourself. This person won't be able to know who you are and truly want to fall in love with you even more until you show who you really are, okay? That will suck for someone to fall in love with someone or be with someone and it's not who they truly intended it to be, okay? You hear stories like that all the time and to me, it's fucked up because then they get mad even if they did fall in love with the person that was in the mask or behind the mask. That'll suck because now they got to learn a person that's really behind the fucking mask. And then they had to learn to get mad at them because they don't fell in love with the mask and not the person behind the mask because your ass didn't be your damn self. Now, who fucking fault is that? Okay, so I feel like that's for someone. Okay, but however, adjustments last card come out here. Adjustments are required. Okay, third quarter moon. Okay, and I feel like the color purple is really strong and heavy as well. Okay, so that tells me working on your crown chakra, okay? Capricorns, understanding that using your intuition, following your higher self, following that gut feeling that's telling you, no, don't go that way. No, do this instead. No, or again, how you are intuitive, okay? Who I'm speaking with, you're very a spiritual being here, okay? You're very connected to source. You're very connected to your higher self, okay? With the purple being shown out here twice, so that definitely tells me, okay, that you need to ground yourself more focused in regards to this message that for some of you I may be receiving around the month of October because there are some adjustments, excuse me, adjustments, thank you, spirit, that are required, okay? And in order to do that, you have to show the world, again, the real you so these adjustments can be adjusted, okay? Because for some of you all, just simply you not speaking up or, you know, showing the world your gift, your talent, performing, however, whatever this is in regards to this relationship, you're not showing this person who you really are. So this person can connect to you or you to be able to have a genuine connection. But if you're not being genuine yourself and not showing yourself or whatever this is, you Aquarians or look, I said Aquarius again, okay? You really need to go look up that aspect and element of the air element and how it all works and how it goes in into twine, okay, Capricorns with your earth energy as well. Whoever I'm speaking with that clicked on this damn video, okay? Real shit, all right? But I like it. Nice. So let's go ahead on and pull out the raw tarot deck. Let's see how this person is feeling in regards to this connection and your response here. Let's see what is the energies around you, Capricorn, right now. This deck here is in regards to the person that you are around and how they truly feel. These may be things that they do not tell you directly in front of you, okay? These are off of their emotions, feelings, and thoughts, okay? So let's just see. And also, these are can be external energies that are around you as well on a daily routine okay so let's just see what's the messages here how does this person feel towards capricorn spirit source angels ancestors how does capricorn energies around them feel towards my sexy ass cappies what's going on in this person's thoughts mind head space here spirit Ooh, we have nighttime Capricorns around okay so something show go down during the nighttime let's keep it moving what else, spirit? This person thinks about you maybe around the nighttime or something definitely goes down around the nighttime. I'm just saying, I wasn't the fly on the wild, Capricorn. Okay. Damn, don't make me spill all your beans. Okay. I like the way you treat me. Wow. Hey, I'm hearing that song. I like the way you look at me. I like the time we spend, baby. I like what we have come to be. I like it, girl. Don't you know I like it? I like baby, baby. Baby, baby. That's the song that's being played in my head right now. Baby, baby. Shout out to Sammy. All right, moving forward. And then we have I fucking love you. Wow, nice. Oh my goodness, this person, not only do they like the way you treat them, they like... 
the way how you obviously make them feel, right? And they fucking love you, okay? They have love for you, okay? With saying that, they're in love with you, and there's something about this nighttime, okay? Wow, and then at the bottom of the deck, we have I'm out of money, Wow, that was very random, okay? So this person, however, on the flip side, <clears throat> is feeling like they are out of financial ways or resources, okay? And for some of y'all, this could be another, as I mentioned here, another external energy here, okay, um, that's outside of you that you may not be aware of and they're not telling you or again, vice versa, this person, okay, even though these are their feelings and how they feel towards you, right? They love you, we know that. They like the way you treat them, we know that, Capricorns. But they may be out of money or having a financial problem during this time, okay? Wow, beautiful. So let's go ahead on and get the tarot cards out here, Capricorns, and see what we can get other clarifications here in regards to this person and how they feel here. And in reasons of being, you know, out of money here, okay? Or what's going on there in regards to that situation, all right? All right, thank you, Source, Angels, Ancestors. Let's clarify the night time here. Let's clarify the card for the night time and also a time to give rather than take, okay? And that may be entwined with that as I'm thinking about it here, um... Capricorns, because we have a time to give rather than take, okay? And then at the bottom of the deck here, we have I'm out of money, okay? So this could be a situation, Capricorns, where you are needing to give within this situation if this is a um, significant other or a family member or a loved one, okay? Um, this person may be out of money or don't have the finances and they're not telling you this or communicating this to you. That could be for one person only or that could be significant for someone. Okay. Wow. Um, and then I see here as I opened or pulled that card that was at the bottom of the deck, we have the karmic person as well. Okay. Some of y'all, it may be the karmic person or it may be the person that your person is still around learning lessons with. This person is not healthy at this time for this person and they may or spending all the money or I'm say, I wanted to say all the money. So this person may have spent all the money, Capricorns, or a situation where they are now out of money, out of resources due to your person may have to give to this other person or this person that is a karmic person meaning currently at this time on their timeline they're not in a healthy space and they're making decisions from their lower selves okay capricorns that's what that means as a karmic person in a nutshell for the ones that are new here or not aware what karmic means okay right we all have karmic we all have good karma and bad karma okay it's in regards to how you lived and how you set up your life in your reflection out here. I'm just saying. We all have to do it our own shit. Okay? Right, Capricorns? Right. Right. Okay? Fuck. I fuck with you, Capricorns. Y'all already know. I love me some Capricorns. Okay? I love all the Zodiac signs. Because we connect and harness all the placements. Right? But definitely being in the energy. Especially as a rising or a sun. Okay? Or a moon. You're... You are harnessing those energies the most because those are three main parts that we have to have balance in while we're here in this 3D realm, right? Let's move forward. So let's see. Why do we have nighttime, Capricorns? Why do we have nighttime here? Ooh, here's your energy, my loves. The Eight of Pentacles here. Some of y'all, this person may be working during night or they work during the night and off during the day. Okay, or they're up in their head at night, they're reading, this person is studying here, some of y'all, this person may be reading, going back to school, okay, researching, okay, working at night here, Capricorns, and vice versa, you all, this is your energy as well, okay, but I feel like this person during the night, they're working, okay, they're trying to get their ducks in a row, I'm hearing as well here, so let's see, let's get more clarification in regards to the nighttime and the eight of pentacles for you capricorn why do we have spirit swords angels ancestors thank you for the messages here why do we have the eight of pentacles here and nighttime 
What is this about, Spirit Source? Thank you. We have the World card. This is Sagittarius energy here, okay? Definitely in regards to a cycle that's ending for you all as well, okay? Definitely in regards to a new beginning here, okay? And this person, wow, yep. This person is manifesting, okay? Vice versa, or you are a Capricorn is okay. But we have the Magician card out here as well, okay? So this person is definitely up late at night, okay? And they are coming up with a plan. They're coming up with some type of way of manifesting. This person or Magician here has all the elements, okay? Um, fire, air, wind, water, okay? And they're manifesting, okay? Because there is a completion here. Um, this possibly is going to help change the situation here, okay? Or the connection here, I feel, as well between you two. Wow. What other information do we have here? And then we had two cards, as you've seen, jumped out. We have your energy again, my loves. Yes, the king of pentacles looking sexy as Fuck, fuck it up, Capricorns. Yes, okay? We definitely have a lot of masculine energy here. I can be speaking with a masculine energy here, a divine masculine energy at that. <laughs> Shout out to you all. Do your thing, masculine energies, okay? But there's three masculine energy cards here, so you're definitely standing in your power. I'm hearing standing in your truth as well. We do have two cards of purple that is representing your intuition but we have this blue going over here so definitely again needing to work on their throat chakra because you have all the coins honey you have the pentacles you have the brains you have the mindset vice versa this person does okay this person enjoys how you treat them okay so i really feel like this is something that this person is really dedicated to i'm talking to a capricorns capricorns are very fucking dedicated and determined and that's what i love about your energy okay right? So I've been around a Capricorn. I've worked with a Capricorn and I see the determination. I see, you know, the blood, sweat, and motherfucking tears that you guys put into your work, okay? And that's the beauty of earth element and earth signs because we need that type of grounding, okay? I'm all in the fire energy. Yes, I know how to create and critique that shit, okay? I, I get some, manifest some shit quick, like fire energy, right? But as far as coming down breaking it down putting into details that's the part i gotta go to an earth sign and say uh hello how you doing okay we're all connected and we need each other for that we all have power and keys to success right so i feel like this is a situation where you're at where this relationship is at where this connection is or whatever this is particularly that you are manifesting and need to show the world yeah i have forgot that part capricorns the real you and now you're in this position because this is energy of self energy here with the ones, with the two of ones here, making the decision here. Okay, we got the purple and we got the green. We know the green is talking about your, um, it's representing your heart space, you know, choosing a situation and working this out in regards to your heart space. What I mentioned here with the color green, speaking from your heart space, okay following your heart, okay? And then we have the crown shock with the color purple, using your intuition, following your intuition, following that gut feeling. And if it's telling you, you know, that, man, I should listen to myself or, man, I felt that in my, you know, that's that feeling where you need to follow your intuition, okay? Because you are definitely a divine being, okay? You're definitely a spiritual being who I'm speaking with. So shout out to you. I love running across my soul group because you're definitely part of the soul tribe here, okay? Because you're genuine, right? Or this person, vice versa, is, okay, I'm just saying. Now we have the Eight of Swords here, okay? Yes, we know the Eight of Swords is in regards to um, editing things out of your life, Capricorn. Or this person, vice versa, is in their process of editing things out of their life. Even things that they felt like they done wrong. Because this card also represents a card of frustrated, frustration or a card of um, guilt, okay? Because as you can see, this person can easily, she can easily just remove the scarf from her arm or excuse me from her wrist or from over her eyes okay but she's choosing to stand in this situation right and realizing reflecting okay because she's at the end right after eight is nine okay so it's to that point where she's realizing she's reflecting she's realizing her part she done wrong things that she were guilty of she's stepping into the light she's realizing her higher self 
all that plays into this card, into the energy of this card that I feel like Capricorns, you are in this space of as well, is why you or this King of Pentacles here, Capricorn, is being able to make a decision here pretty soon because <clears throat> this is something that has been, again, determined and has been worked overnight. Again, with the energy of the nighttime here, this is something that this person may only have time to do or manifest at night. Doing some type of hearing moon magic as well. Some this okay. I'm not surprised. I'm talking to a spiritual being, so you're all this person. I'm not surprised that they're into crystals, things of manifesting with writing things down, um, saging, you know, all this spiritual practices as far as every day, right? This is how I feel the energy of this person, okay. Wow. Okay. And they like that about you. And they like the way, again, you treat them and they fucking love you. Let's not forget that part. I don't even know which one to put as your thumbnail, Capricorn. Damn. Okay. Fuck some shit up, Capricorn. Yes. Okay. And that's right. This card just jumped out. But we have the seven of ones here. Okay. I was going to get another card here to finish up. And this card is what jumped out. So this just tells me ending your reading here, Capricorns, that Yes, continue to fight, okay? Continue not to give up, okay? You are very close to achieving whatever this is that you're wanting to manifest, okay? With the Magician card out here, you two are working towards this together, okay? There's a lot of energy and a lot of manifesting around these time of hours at night, okay? So keep fighting whatever this is. If you're working at night, you're studying at night, this person is vice versa, okay? Keep going at it. Defend yourself. Don't let anyone cross you, walk over your toes, disrespect you. Because I see you fighting for it. I see you waving energies that are not of the highest light or just for your fucking highest good. So shout out to you Capricorns. Keep doing what the fuck you doing. And don't let nobody or anything slow you the fuck down. Okay? Because I love your reading hands down. Okay, this has been a great reading, okay? So I definitely hope you got something from the reading. Again, if so, don't forget to like, subscribe, okay? If you're new here, welcome, my loves. Be a part of family where we love and we evolve, okay? That is the goal here. And we enjoy ourselves, okay? So hit that notification bell and you'll be notified for when your reading comes out again next week. Keep up with the community tab. I do post daily enlightenment there as well. You can follow me on my other social media websites. And I am now available for personal readings as well, my loves. I love you, Capricorns. Remember, your health is your wealth. If you're not enjoying or taking care of your health, you won't be able to enjoy all this wealth and the determination that you're putting into whatever this is that you're manifesting, my loves, okay? So I love you. Stay sweet. Stay kind. I love you. Bye-bye.